What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy Goblin, and today we are coming in with part 4, the long awaited next part to the Trap House Tales. Hope you guys enjoy this video, drop a like if you do, and also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and smack that notification bell, my gamers. Hey, I can see the percentage of viewers that are subscribed, and it's not even like 70, it's like 60. Listen, almost half of y'all aren't subs, I'm looking at you, I'm looking at you. Press the fucking button. Listen, you can unsub in three days. Alright? 72 hours is all I ask. Boost my confidence for 72... Dude, in three days, I'm gonna have a massive influx. A massive exodus of sub... Just smack the fucking button. Alright? And, and forget about the... Th just press the sub button. Alright? Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And also, I'm gonna be getting really wasted and painting on stream tonight on YouTube. So be sure you have those notifications turned on to tune into that. That's gonna be going live around 11.30 p.m. Central Time, give or take, right? I, I literally, I went to Walmart today and I bought an easel and a bunch of paintbrushes and paint. And we're gonna paint, like, George Washington and shit for 4th of July. And I'm gonna get blackout wasted. It's gonna be a fun time. But be sure you're there for that. Without further ado, let's dive right into it. So... In part three, for those of you guys who remember where we left off in that, we had just ordered some pizza and we were just about to start our night. And I'd been kind of doing blow on and off all day alongside Josh, and Cody even ended up doing a little bit with us too once he woke up. Uh, but we had just gotten our pizza and gone upstairs. And now, once again, just like the first night, we're sitting on the floor basically doing nothing, right? Like, Cody and Josh brought their PlayStations and set those up. I had my PC set up on the floor, but I realized really quickly that there was only like two games I had installed that I could play with no internet. So basically, they're over there playing their PlayStation games, and I'm laying on the cold carpet that is really scratchy playing The Sims 4. And we're all so fucked up, bro. We're just getting gradually more sent throughout the night. We kind of put down the blow, but we were still smoking. And we busted out the lean once again. And we were pouring up a little bit, right? I actually poured up the least, right? I was generous, and I just split the pint uh with cody and jaw i mean i drank the vast majority of it but like i was pouring them up for free you know like i i was not asking them for money right i was being a nice guy about it i didn't care dude i was so happy about moving out i didn't care bro like i was i wasn't gonna sit there and nickel and dime them over a good time you know i was like fuck it dude i bought this for you guys bro let's have a good time everybody you know so we're all pouring up, we're all having a good time, dude, we've still got our sprites left, dude, because we ordered a million sodas from the pizza place, and we're just having a blast, we're playing our games, we're smoking, we're chatting, and it's still a really chill night, it's very similar to the first night, where all we did was just kind of get fucked up, I started chilling out, and I didn't really get as fucked up as I did on the first night, in terms of the lean, but I still got that nice, you know, kind of laying on the cloud feeling, where even despite the fact that I was laying on this cold, scratchy carpet, I I'm talking like, this carpet reminds me the carpet that you'd find in like your elementary school classrooms it was that level of scratchy guys but i it i just felt great dude i felt wonderful i'm laying on my stomach playing the sims 4 in just the worst position possible just having a fucking blast we're all getting fucked up we're all just chatting you know no one has any online games to play because we have no internet so we're just talking to each other and honestly these first few days before we got internet were probably the most fun i think i had in this house like it at least in my opinion, things slowly kind of deteriorated after this. But it was really fucking fun at first. And like this particular night, right? We're just sitting there. We're sipping nice and slowly. We're not trying to get fucked up too fast. But we ended up getting super fucked up. We were really fucking stoned. We were off the lean. We were chilling. We didn't drink too much. And we didn't measure it. Just like the first night, we didn't really have anything to like measure it effectively with. Maybe we did, but I didn't want to look for anything. I didn't really care, dude. I was just like, whatever, man. Uh, if it looks like enough, it's enough, man. Like, <laughs> you know? what I'm saying? And looking back on it, that was definitely not smart of me, and I probably wasted a lot doing that, because it's not like I was super experienced at the time, either. Like, I'm still not. I've never been, like, big into drinking lean, right? But either way, so we're chilling out. We're having the time of our lives, having a hoot and a holler on this fine evening, right? And it just kind of fizzles out, and the night deteriorates, right? Josh ends up going back downstairs. Cody ends up going back downstairs. Now, here's where things get complicated, I go to bed, right? I sleep on the floor, and my ashtray that is full of the blunts that is all my weed is kind of, you know, closer to the other end of the loft area, right? Like, it's closer to where, like, Josh and Cody were sitting, because Cody had the ashtray last before we all passed out. Like, I, I'm pretty sure I fell asleep, and then they just kind of, like, realized I passed out and just went downstairs, right? But either way, I wake back up the next day, 
And I notice immediately right off the bat that like I just know that there's like there's roaches missing missing from my ashtray. I look over and I know it immediately. Like it's one of those things where it's not like it was just one missing. Like no, dude, like like five or six roaches were no longer in my ashtray. And here's the thing. I don't I don't collect roaches. I don't save roaches. Uh I wasn't planning on doing that with these ones, right? Like but at the same time don't take my roaches, right? So right off the bat, I know that Cody had nothing to do with it. I'm like, all right, well, Cody wouldn't do that. I Listen, if Cody wanted the opportunity to hit a lick on me, he's had much be- bigger and better ones than my fucking six roaches. So immediately I know that it's more than likely Josh, right? So I go downstairs, and they're already awake, right? I go into Josh's room, and I'm like, what up, yo? I just kind of say good morning. He's still half asleep. So I'm like, you know what? I'll talk to this guy about this later, right? So whatever. I kind of wake him up. You know, he just says, ah, you know, he goes back to bed. But uh, knowing Josh, I know he's going to end up coming up to smoke with me at some point, right? Lo and behold, maybe an hour goes by and Cody was already up there. Cody was sitting up there, right? Uh, Cody had come up like 30 minutes before Josh did. And Cody and I were just kind of chilling out smoking. And I explained to Cody, I was like, yeah, dude, like, my roaches are fucking gone, bro. And he's like, what? Like, what are you talking about? I'm like, dude, like, my roaches are gone, right? And he's like, what the fuck? Uh, And he's like, yeah, I mean, I I didn't take any of those. He's like, I I was pretty fucked up last night. I just went to bed. (laughs) So I was was sitting there, and I was like, okay, well, let's see what Josh has to say later, right? 30 minutes to 40 minutes later, Josh comes upstairs. And I'm like, Josh, do you know what happened to my roaches? And at first he denies it. At first he's like, no. And he did this a few times. This became a problem. Him stealing my roaches became a problem really fast, right? But this was the first time I caught him doing it. I There's probably a few times I didn't catch him, but this was the first time I caught him doing it. And it was this early in, by the way, like day like three or some shit. So either way, he comes up and at first he denies it. He's, he's like, no, you know, like I, uh, oh, like, I don't know. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, all right, Well, one of you guys smoked my roaches, because, like, and I'm not pointing the finger at Josh yet. I'm just saying, one of you guys smoked my roaches, because I know it wasn't Cody. I'm trying to get Josh to fess up. I'm trying to get him to fess up. And I'm, like, I'm sitting there, and I'm, like, the roaches did not just get up and leave, bro. And, like, I'm not stupid. So, like... Like, I, 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 before Josh even said anything, I said, both of you guys should know that, like, you can hit my weed. Like, you live in my house, you know? Like, and of course, Cody's already well aware of that, but I'm more just trying to reiterate to Josh. Like, you don't have to steal my roaches. Like, we are roommates, dude. If you want to hit my weed, you can come up and ask, right? Like, I'm not going to come get you every time I spark up, but if you want to smoke, you can come ask, right? Like, that. that's what I'm trying to say to dude, right? Uh, and he's like, He's like, he eventually, you know, he coughs up. He's like, yeah, it was me. I'm sorry. I was fiending. I had no weed and all that shit. And I'm like, I'm like, it's cool. Like, I wasn't going to do anything with them. But like, my problem with it is, and I tell him this, I'm like, my problem with it is, if you're going to stain my roaches, like, what else are you going to take, you know? Because really, that's what it is. Like, if you're going to take my fucking roaches out of my ashtray, what else are you willing to take, you know? Because that's a very petty thing to steal. Like, you're stealing something without any real gain. Like, you get a little bit high off some already smoked dirty weed. Like, I don't know, man. That's just a bad, bad start, right? So either way, uh, he fesses up to that. And I, I'm pretty irritated. I can't lie. Like, I I don't know. Just the, the fact, like, I felt disrespected as fuck, you know? Like, I was going out. I was doing a favor here. I was paying the first month's rent and a lot of expenses to help Josh and Cody move in. And Cody was being totally cool about it. But Josh, on the other hand, seemed to kind of start to act like a little bit of a bastard here, you know? And that kind of became a reoccurring theme, right? Where uh, Josh and I just kind of butted heads quite a bit throughout this, right? Uh but either way, so we, we solved this problem with the roaches, right? We discussed that. And now we're all in the clear. And now we start deciding like, okay, boys, we've got to figure out how the fuck to get our hands on some internet. There is no internet in this godforsaken house, right? We need internet somehow. So we're going through all the providers. We're looking through providers, by the way. Sorry if you heard me move my mic there. Uh, but either way, We're going through providers, and one of the only, like, there's really only two options. It's AT&T or Xfinity, or some, like, really never heard of, like, local company that probably offers, like, dial-up, you know? And, of course, everyone knows AT&T is horrible, so obviously, Xfinity's the only choice. 
So I book an appointment for two days from then, right? I'm like, all right, two days from now, we got an appointment. Dude's coming at 8 a.m. sharp. We were fiending for internet, bro. We literally, we needed, Cody was like going crazy. He was like, dude, the new Fortnite season's about to drop. I need that shit. Cody's a Fortnite fiend, dude. And Josh, on the other hand, he didn't seem to care as bad. He still wanted to play Fortnite. But he more wanted to play, I think like Warframe was the game he kept complaining about not being able to play. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, dude, this, I have a job, bro. Like, y'all, I get it. Y'all want to play some Fortnite. I I can't do my job, bro. So we're all sitting there and we're just like, fuck, we gotta get this guy here stat. So we schedule it two days from then, uh, 8 a.m. sharp, right? Beautiful timing. We're all ready to rumble. The next night, we discover, right? Like that day when we scheduled it, not shit happened, right? Absolutely fuck all happened. We did nothing, right? Uh, it, like, we didn't even drink any lean. We didn't do any coke. We just had a chill day. We just smoked some pot, gamed, and all went to bed pretty early, right? But the day following that, the day before the internet guy came, we discovered that Cody, uh, through his, like, family plan, he was still, I think he was still on, like, his mom's, like, cell plan. He didn't realize this, but he had a mobile hotspot. And we had just been sitting here without realizing that he had a mobile hotspot, right? So I set up my PC, and I'm like, oh, fuck, dude, let me go get, like, a little folding desk. So I run up to Walmart with Josh, get this folding desk, right, run back, set up my PC on this desk with this little piece of shit chair. You guys might remember this. The first stream we ever did in the house, I did off of a hotspot. We did this stream the night before the internet guy came out to celebrate us getting internet the next day. I went live, and I was like, guys, we're getting internet tomorrow. I'm going to be fucking making hella content in the new house with Cody and Josh. I introduced, you know, my roommates on stream, and you guys had already met Cody, I believe. But Josh, I don't think you guys had met, you know? So there there was really only like three or 400 of you guys there for this stream. So I, I got to reiterate that because that's like probably like 1% of the people that are going to watch this video, right? It's probably going to be like 30 or 40K, you guys, that see this video, right? Minimum, minimum, hopefully. Please, hey, please click. But either way, back on topic here. Uh, so, we're, we're just getting lit on this stream, and it's so low quality. I remember I had a stream in like 720p with like a really bad bit rate and like refresh rate. Just, just a shit quality stream, but I'm sitting there and I'm just like, boys, we fucking did it. And we're all getting so wasted, dude. We had Ciroc. We cracked these bottles open. I'm getting Josh sent. I'm getting Cody sent. And we're all getting drunk as fuck. Fuck, dude, we're all getting so smacked. And I think we went live for only about an hour. I don't remember exactly what we did this first stream besides getting drunk. I just remember we got wasted. Absolutely. This might have been the homemade bong stream, actually. I think we might have made homemade bongs on this stream. But either way, back on topic here. So we're just hype as fuck. And we're like, yeah, the internet's coming tomorrow. So we get off stream, right? The stream ends and we're all wasted. And I'm still drinking. Cody's still drinking a little bit. And Josh is pretty much done drinking, right? So we're all chilling out, just kind of chatting. And Josh, when he gets drunk, he gets very weird. Like, I don't really know how to describe it, but... Every time he gets drunk, he starts talking a lot, which is normal. A lot of people will ramble on about shit when they're drunk, but it's always a weird topic that makes everyone uncomfortable. Like, it's like the guy can't read the room when he's drunk. This particular night, we get drunk, and he starts talking about, like, man, I need to find a girl out here, and how, like, how, like, he wants to find a girlfriend and shit, and he, he starts, like, really, really getting, like, emotional about it. Like, not crying and shit, but he's like, he's like, man, I just, I just want a girl to cuddle with and shit, man. Like, I just, I just want a girl out here, and, like, we're just, like, we're sitting there, and we're like, I mean, yeah, man, like, that's cool, but, like, like, hop on Tinder then. Like, like, what do you want us to do about it? And he just keeps talking about it, dude. I remember Cody and I, we, we used to talk about this all the time after Josh fucking dipped and blocked both of us, which we'll get to that way later. Uh, <laughs> but Cody and I used to talk about this all the time. This guy was just the most, like, passively horny, like, I guess hopeless romantic is the best way to put it, like, if you guys have ever played the fucking Sims, like I was talking about earlier, there's a trait on there, you can give your character, hopeless romantic, that's this guy, bro, like, he literally, like, he would just, he gets drunk, and he would talk about one of two things, he would either, like, he would either complain about something, or he would talk about how he just wants a woman to cuddle with, and we'd always just be so weirded out by this whole thing, because, like, I, I don't even know how to put it. It was just weird. It was always uncomfortable. And Cody and I never had shit to say in response. Like, he's sitting there, and he's just, like, laying, and he's, like, holding a pillow, almost like he's culling. And he's just like, man, he's like, I hope there's hot girls out here. And we're just like, I mean, 
yeah, man, go ahead, Josh, go crazy. You know, we, we keep egging him on to get a Tinder. And finally, he downloads a Tinder, right? And we're so drunk. I'm still drinking the whole night. Cody's at this point kind of starting to tap out. Josh is still just as drunk as, you know, since we ended the stream. And we're maybe an hour out of stream at this point after he's done having this, like, simp conversation, right? We tell him to hop on Tinder, and we just all get so drunk that we eventually disperse, go to our rooms, and pass the fuck out, right? We catch our Zs. We sleep like kings. And I wake up the next morning at, like, 11 a.m. to, like, six missed calls and realize immediately the internet guy ain't coming today. So I wake up and I fly downstairs and I wake Cody up and I'm like, bro, we missed the fucking internet, dude. And he's like, what? He's like, <coughs> he pops out of bed. He's like, no fucking way, dude. And he's pissed. He's like, oh my God. I run in there. I get Josh. I'm like, Josh, we fucking missed the internet guy, dude. He's like, oh my God. We're all pissed as fuck. So we have to book an appointment, right? And we're looking. And the soonest one I can book is literally seven days out. So I'm damn near on the verge of tears. I'm like, bro, I have to upload. Like, I can't rely on this hotspot connection, you know? And I think I think he had a limited amount of data on it, too. Like, bro, like, we can't be running on this hotspot for a week, all three of us, you know? So we're all tweaking, dude. We're like, we need some internet. We're fucking fiending right now, dude. We're starting to run low on weed. We've been smoking all our pot. And we didn't know what the fuck to do. Like, this day that came up, this particular day, we ran out of weed on this day. This is where shit got ugly, dude. This is where shit got hectic. And we had to reschedule the internet, which was completely and utterly fucked, dude. But on this particular day, we had to go for an expedition to get weed from our neighbor. As well as, well, weed from our neighbor for the first time. We bought weed from this guy a few times. As well as, we linked up with uh, one of Cody's relative's friends. Some, like... I don't know how this person was connected to Cody, but some dude showed up to our house with a bunch of cigarettes for us, which was cool. But we'll get to that in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Smack a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in tonight's live stream. Deuces.